My name is Eitan Zana and I'm an environment concept artist at Naughty Dog and I've been working there for almost seven and a half years and what I do for my job is anything from line drawings over designer block mesh to huge vista paintings, we do prop design, we do color scripts, all that sort of stuff. Simon, you know, hit me up and he told me he was a big fan of my work. He would love to get me out here to do a workshop and I've heard a lot about CDW and they have really passionate, enthusiastic students that are really hungry for the knowledge. Like every workshop here at CDW, it's just like they come in and then they're just knowledge, knowledge, knowledge and everyone's sitting there just going <laughs> I really like how he's broken it down into these bite-sized concepts, um, which essentially means like if I go and I want to make a really great piece of art, I can work through that checklist and go, have I looked at the shape language? Have I made iconic composition? Have I looked at realistic lighting? Um, and go through that checklist and try and make my painting better. He just shows how simple, how, how these simple ideas can be used in such a creative and interesting way. I'm the only person here who is silly enough not to have a laptop. <laughs> uh, so I'm sticking to the, uh, the old ways of doing things for today uh, and trying to still keep everything I've learned from Aton so far coming out in the little painting. I think his techniques are so interesting. Like they're really different to the way that I work. I'm, like an old fogey just drawing everything out the hard way and he's so smart and efficient. So I reckon I'd, I'd love to learn some of his uh, techniques for just speeding everything up and getting a beautiful finished image uh, 10 times as fast as I can. I like the simplicity and strength of his compositions. I'd, if I could pick up anything, I'd like to sort of pick up that ability to control where the eye needs to go in my painting. The takeaways for today are really how to look at stuff and really simplify it down to its basic components. You know, how do you take a really complex idea and turn it into simple shapes, reading in space. Anything that you can think of can be turned into a nice, simple, small shape. So today is all about taking a really complex idea and simplifying it. That's the major takeaway. <laughs>